everybody, and welcome to South Polar Bust, my mission to put a research station on the North Pole and the South Pole. This mission will answer all sorts of scientific questions Kerbal Kind has had about the two poles for decades. Questions like, why is it white? Is it cold there? And why are we doing this? I'll also be using this opportunity to test out new features for my mod, KOS, and answering any questions that the community might have about KOS. To start off, I flew out Jebediah to plant a flag at each pole. I started out with this smaller, faster design based on the ruggedized wheels. Most people start out with the really big wheels for these kinds of missions, but I figured, well, they're called ruggedized wheels, they'll probably be okay. Uh, but I failed to realize in the first 10 seconds that I actually lost a wheel coming right off the runway. I then proceeded to drive for about a half an hour before realizing what had happened. Needless to say, I needed a new design. So I ended up going with the big wheel design after all. So let's take a look at what I've built here. So the only mods I'm using here are KOS and the Navigation Lights mod. I like the Navigation Lights because sometimes you need a smaller amount of close-up light rather than a large amount of directional light. The KOS unit under here will help me navigate and also let me test new KOS features. And back here we've got the two detachable research stations. Each one is configured with a full scientific package loadout and each one has a comm dish and a KOS unit. The mission will be to strand, <laughs> I mean assign, one Kerbal to each research station at each pole, permanently. I did a quick test of detaching each research station just to make sure that the landing legs can extend without hitting anything and that we're able to drop it without a problem. Next, I started putting in my waypoints. I was able to use the maps from KerbalMaps.com to get exact latitude, longitude of waypoints that I wanted to drive to. And thanks to the new persistence feature in KOS, I'm actually able to put these in now and they will be saved for later. I wrote a quick driving program, put in my first waypoint, and off I went. I actually had to tweak this a few times because I found that uh, this particular rover will uh, turn really fast when it's driving really slow. So my script actually starts it off driving really slow until it's facing roughly towards the target uh, and then it'll go to full throttle. So it looks like the first part of this journey is going to be a 13 kilometer stretch. I hit a snag really early on where KOS would start to steer erratically. I was able to track that down to a bug that's in the uh, rover steering code for KOS and I was actually able to fix that bug that I would never would have found if I wasn't doing this. After a very boring three kilometers, I ran into some trees. And by the nine kilometer mark, I was in the thick of what I can only guess passes for a forest on planet Kerbin. So here we are just a few meters away from the first waypoint. At this point, I've become a little concerned because we're on a downhill, I'm accelerating. Uh, I'm not sure if this thing is gonna be prone to flipping over or not but it stops without a problem. So at this point, I just park it, call it a day. So clearly this episode was just the Cliff Notes version. I really just wanted to do this first episode, show the build, show the concept, see if people like it, see if it's worth continuing on with. So if you like the idea and you like the concept, please let me know in the comments. So until next time, thank you for watching and hack responsibly.